In this episode, a car crashes through a safety barrier and dangles precariously on a cliff ledge. One of the passengers plummets into the sea below only to be devoured by a pack of 14 hungry sharks. Moments later, the car tumbles downwards. Will the remaining passengers meet the same ferocious end? Get that like button and subscribe right now. This is one of the most terrifying and unique shark attack stories. Step back in time to the year 1967 in Sydney, Australia. A group of close friends, consisting of three adults and one child, embarked on a scenic drive along the coast. The child, seated in the back, was restless and dropped a toy on the floor. The driver, trying to calm the child, reached for the toy without diverting his attention from the road. However, the foggy autumn weather posed a challenge to their journey. The coastal views were hidden beneath a blanket of thick fog. As they drove through Sydney's picturesque eastern suburb of Dover Heights, the fog seemed to thicken. The road along the clifftops was perilous, but they had no idea that the worst was yet to come. Suddenly, the child began acting up again, and in a bid to soothe him, the driver turned away from the road for a split second. In that instant, tragedy struck. The driver misjudged the speed of an oncoming corner and lost control of the car. He slammed on the brakes, but it was too late. The car careened through the safety barrier and hurled over the cliff. The passengers screamed in terror as they tumbled down the cliff in a terrifying free fall. Miraculously, the car didn't plunge into the sea straight away. It became ensnared on some rocks protruding from the cliff's edge. The car dangled precariously in a vertical position held up by the rocks. The sudden impact sent everyone hurtling forwards in their seats. The front passenger was thrown through the windscreen and fell 100 feet into the water below. For a few seconds, she lay motionless on top of the water before sinking beneath the waves. The tragedy of that day haunted the survivors for years to come, and the memory of the lost friend lingered like a dark cloud over their lives. The incident serves as a chilling reminder of the dangers of distraction while driving and the importance of safety precautions on hazardous roads. The year was 1967 and a group of friends were enjoying a day out along the beautiful coastline of Sydney, Australia. Little did they know, tragedy would strike and their lives would be forever changed. As they drove through the picturesque eastern suburb of Dover Heights, a thick autumn fog rolled in from the sea enveloping the coast and the city in a blanket of white. Suddenly, the child in the backseat began acting up, dropping a toy on the floor that he couldn't reach. The driver, trying to calm the child, took his eyes off the road for just a moment to reach into the footwell behind him, but it proved to be a fatal mistake. Misjudging his speed at an oncoming corner, the driver veered to the other side of the road and slammed on his brakes, but it was too late. The car crashed through the safety barrier and went flying off the cliff, tumbling down the steep drop. Miraculously, the car became caught on some rocks jutting out from the cliff's edge, holding the vehicle in a terrifying vertical position. The sudden stop caused the passengers to fly forward in their seats, with the front passenger smashing through the windscreen and falling 100 feet to the water below. As if the accident wasn't tragic enough, within moments of hitting the water, shadowy shapes began to converge on the woman's body. Witness accounts described 14 sharks thrashing around in the water, drawn by the loud splash and scent of blood. The woman was torn to shreds in mere seconds. The driver, still trapped in the car, watched in horror as the sharks attacked and the woman disappeared from sight. He cried out, trying to reach the other passengers, but the seat belt held him firmly in place. The car creaked and groaned under the strain, hanging on by a thread. With no way to escape, the driver was left injured and alone with his thoughts. His head was pounding, his vision blurry, and his head was oozing blood. He could hear the pounding of his heart in his ears as he waited for help to arrive. People rushed to the clifftop and emergency services were called, but time was running out for the trapped driver. Would he be able to hold on until help arrived? or would the car plummet to the sea below, taking him with it? Only time would tell. A man found himself in a dire situation as he clung onto the edge of a cliff for dear life. Despite fervently praying for a miracle, the rocks eventually gave way. 
causing the car and its driver to be hurled down the cliff and into the water below. The man's situation quickly worsened as water began to seep into the vehicle, and his attempts to release his seatbelt proved futile. With the water level rising and the prospect of being trapped in the car becoming more real, the man was suddenly surrounded by a group of hungry sharks that had taken an interest in his predicament. In a frantic attempt to free himself, the man struggled to release his seatbelt and eventually succeeded in doing so. However, his escape route was limited. With the car now half submerged in water, the only means of escape was to swim through the half-smashed windscreen which would mean braving the dangers of the shark-infested waters. The man knew that his only option was to take the risk, but the thought of what lay beneath the surface shook him to his very car. As the shark circled around the car, attempting to break through the smashed windows, the man took a deep breath and dove underwater. With blurry shadows of the circling sharks in view, he swam towards the smashed windscreen, keeping a watchful eye on the predators that surrounded him. With his head bleeding and the scent of blood in the water, the sharks became more aggressive, homing in on their injured prey. Finally, with all the courage he could muster, the man pushed off the driver's seat and swam towards the smashed windscreen. Despite the shark's attempts to devour him, he managed to scramble onto the roof of the car, where he caught his breath and assessed his surroundings. With every parsing second, Fear consumed him as he awaited the inevitable attack from the circling sharks. He braced himself for the sharp pain of their jaws sinking into his flesh, but against all odds, he made it to the safety of the shore. Grasping the rocky outcroppings, he hauled himself onto the dry land and looked back to witness the final descent of the car into the murky depths below. The frenzy of the sharks continued as they followed the sinking vehicle into the abyss. Emergency services arrived to transport him to the hospital, where he was treated for severe injuries to his head and neck, as well as for the shock of his harrowing experience. Though he would make a full physical recovery, the memory of that traumatic event would haunt him for the rest of his days. Despite numerous reports of shark attacks in Sydney Harbor and its surrounding beaches, the species of shark responsible for the attack remained a mystery. Marine biologists speculated that it might have been the work of bull sharks, which are known to hunt in groups known as schools. However, the most important lesson to be learned is that the moment we enter the water, we enter their realm, and we must always be vigilant and aware of the potential dangers that exist there.